You dumbass tune in and try to see me break my TV again. No such luck, nerds. Georgia beats Georgia Tech in basketball last night. But hey, I guess that's none of my business. Look at it, nerds. That is a nice TV. A nice TV. Y'all thought I was going to break my TV again. You know dogs on top. You know why I'm so happy about this today? Because let's just be real about it. Everybody knows that I'm way more of a football guy uh, than I am a basketball guy. But for Georgia Tech fans, that is not the case. These guys... They, they usually ride with the basketball team because they're ter the football team is just terrible. Terrible! Year in and year out. So they cling on to basketball like that gives them some glimmer of hope uh, in, in terms of trying to be a, an athletically respectable uh, you know, college or university or trade school or whatever it is they are. And the bottom line is you just haven't been good in basketball in ages. And that burns them up. That burns them up. That's worse than lose than them having a bad uh, football team because they expect a terrible football team because they know Paul Johnson is a joke. Uh, you know they know their football program is a joke. They know they haven't won the ACC in 26 years. They know. Uh, oh, oh, he, you did beat Georgia this year though. Congrats on your Super Bowl win. Uh, three times in 16 years you beat UGA. So that is quite an accomplishment. Uh, for the North Avenue nerds up there at trade school. But bat, they ride with basketball, so this just, this, ooh, this, this eats at them. This just eats at them. They can't stand it. They hate it. You mad, bro. You can tell Uncle Lou. Tell Uncle Lou. How mad are you? The easiest thing to do is just put it in numerical form right down below. One being, uh, like, really mad, 10 being like boiling mad, the most mad you've ever been. It's it's somewhere within that range. Let Uncle Lou know. You mad, bro. You mad, bro. You thought I, you thought I, you, I'm not breaking this TV. Look at this TV. I'm not breaking this TV for you. No, this is an amazing TV. Th this was the TV you got. That, that's the TV you deserved. Dogs on top in basketball. And here they say the same old thing we always hear. Oh, uh, academic requirements. You, you have to be really super highly intelligent, like ET level smart to get into Georgia Tech. So it's not fair. We can't recruit like a, a school like UGA can. First of all, first, if that was true, which it's not, it, look, the academic standards for an athlete to get into Georgia Tech are not that much different than UJ. But let's just pretend for the sake of make-believe that that's true. Okay, so you have to recruit a much smarter athlete into Georgia Tech than we do at UJ. Okay, well, if that's the case, if that's the case, and the curriculum at Georgia Tech is so much harder for a student athlete than it is at UJ, uh, like you guys love to say, then why is it that UGA has higher... Uh, grad rates and higher GPAs amongst student athletes than Georgia Tech does. Why? Why? And they say, well, because the classes are harder. Okay, yeah, but you're saying you have to be super ET level smart to get into Georgia Tech. So even if the classes are a little bit harder, shouldn't you guys be blowing us away in terms of academics? But you're not. Because there is no difference. The bottom line is idiots get into Georgia Tech to play basketball and football. Period. Period. The reason you lose is because they're just not any good. Not because they're super smart. Jesus. When is Georgia Tech fan going to wake up? Look, li listen, I can, I can, look, Stanford, better than you, academically and athletically. Notre Dame, better than you, academically and athletically. North Carolina, better than you, academically and athletically. Vanderbilt, better than you, academically and athletically. Duke, Northwestern. I mean, I can go on and on. You know, Georgia Tech acting like they're the only Power 5 team that hands out college degrees at the end of four years is just friggin' ridiculous. But, like you say, that's all they have. 
That's it. So anyway, uh, take this L. Enjoy it. Cherish it. This is my Christmas gift from Uncle Lou to the North Avenue nerds. Hold this L, bitch!